High traders S&P 500 ended the week at an all-time high and rose 0.7%. September, which is generally considered a weak month, ended at 2% gains, the strongest month since 2014. We are entering the fourth quarter and October. October is known for its high volatility. On the one hand, a month of famous crashes. On the other hand, a month that is also known as a bear market killer. As the market rises, statistically, bulls are now at a greater danger. The trend of the market is positive. And despite the fear of October, we must trade with the trend. But we will also have to be very, very vigilant, open and ready for a shift in direction if it occurs. Let's take a technical view of the market. When we take a look at the S&P 500, we can see the uptrend and we can see the September breakout. We mentioned this breakout area many times in our previous reviews. Take a look at the nice consolidation until September and finally the breakout in September and of course the continuation. So the market continues, moved up by 0.7%. The uptrend is there, therefore we should follow the uptrend. Let's take a look at last week's picks. We had HFC for long. HFC triggered and looked great. We discussed that last time. HFC moved down a little bit, but did not reach my 3% stop loss. So HFC stayed in the game, did continue over the highs, of course, did get some backwind from the market as, as the market was moving higher and did reach over 11% gain. Now, also a reminder, I always sell three quarters at the 3% gain, therefore only quarter size left. And I would never let this quarter size move underneath my entry point. My second pick was PPC. PPC did not trigger, did not move over the, the highs, therefore we do not have a trade in PPC. My third trade was Applied Materials. Applied Materials did trigger. I know it looks great. It looks like a huge winner. It is not a huge winner. In fact, it is a loser because before moving to new highs, it did, it did trigger, but then moved down, hit my 3% loss, and then continued highs. It's a part of the game. You never know where it's, when something like that may happen. So we just have to take this loss instead of a huge winner. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Divax Long, over $21.85. A very nice consolidation at the highs, very nice uptrend. Divax is a pharmaceutical company, a biotechnological company from the States, and very nice technical trigger. My second pick for the week is TTD Long, over $62.86. TTD is trending higher. Again, a very nice technical formation for a breakout of the highs. TTD is a technology company operating a platform that enables advertising, again, in the US. A very nice uptrend, and I wish you a great trading week, and see you next week. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.